And I'm not Cree prophecy. It talks about a black snake that's coming down and it's gonna uh, try to destroy everything. And as Native people, we've always been standing up, but this was a time that we were gonna rise up because before they were just killing us and it was just us that were dying. Now they're trying to kill our children and our children's children. They're destroying our water. And at that time, we were gonna rise up and everybody was gonna stand up with, with us. It was supposed to be the prophecy talks about the rainbow warriors, people of every color standing up with us. So it's happening, it's happening right now. Everybody of every color, I'm looking out here and I don't see anybody of the same color standing next to each other. It looks like a rainbow and it's beautiful. So this is the time, this is the time right now that we're gonna take our land back and we're gonna save it for our children and their children and those not yet born. The water can't defend itself. It needs people to help it. The, the land can't defend itself. The, our children, those yet born, they can't defend themselves. We have to stand up and we have to be the ones to say no more. No more are you gonna destroy our water. No more are you gonna destroy our land. And that's what I see right now. I see people saying no more. We're not gonna take it. Enough is enough. So thank you. upon thousands of our relatives, native and non-native, standing in resistance against a pipeline that threatens the drinking water of over 17 million people. We have people on the front line right now and on, on traditional Ocheti Shakoni territory, fighting against a pipeline that threatens the sacred integrity of Mother Earth. At this very moment, we have thousands upon thousands of our relatives who are putting their lives on the line to stop construction, to, to renew our relationship to Mother Earth. Yeah. At this very moment, they are fighting against a police state. They are fighting against a military state where we are constantly surveillance 24 hours by planes and helicopters flying over our heads, invading our dreams and telling us and reminding us of the colonial system that we live in. 
right at this moment, our people are facing off against militarized law enforcement, who are using armored personnel carriers, who are using snipers and Humvees, who have the National Guard supporting them, who have the po police and the corporations backing them up. But the truth is, is that is not where the power lies. The power lies in us, the people. <laughs> is that the greater that they escalate their violence, the greater we escalate our capacity for empathy. The greater they escalate their violence and their usage of weapons upon us, the greater we escalate our ability to demonstrate the power of prayer and love. We're at this critical moment, relatives, where we are in a very, this is just, I, I'm speechless because the historic moment that we're in right now. We have never seen something like this, where we are capable of stopping a mega fossil fuel development project in its tracks. We're in this moment where we're seeing the, the, all these different movements, these social movements, the fight for good jobs, the fight for ability for good housing, the fight to protect our lands is coming together like no other. And we're, I'm just so excited to see this future, aren't you? And this must be reminded, and we say this every day on the front lines, is our, our enemy is not necessarily the Dakota Access construction worker. Our enemy is not necessarily a police officer. Our enemy is the system that creates these situations. colonial system that is predicated upon the oppression of my people, upon the oppression of our people. And we're saying down with this system and shut the system down. For too, for too long, our communities, whether they're in the oil fields of North Dakota, down to the refining ports of the Gulf Coast, all the way up to the tar sands, we're tired of sacrificing our lives and our future for the benefit of this colonial system. We're tired of, of sacrificing our ability to decide what schools we're going to go to, what kind of food we have access to, where are we going to live, the constant fear of what the future brings. We're tired of that. And so together, each and every one of us are going to bring this system down and, re and create something beautiful, a renewable, just society. That is the just transition that we're asking for. pipeline fighters out there, our water protectors, those that are putting their lives on the line, I want to say I love you, each and every one of you. The honor of this movement is in the prayer, and that's what we say before, before anything else. If you want to help us, if you want to help indigenous communities in their struggle, you have to ground it in prayer. You have to ground it in the belief that our minds can create lasting change. You have to ground it in the belief that if we put our thoughts to it, if we really be mindful of the system that is predicated upon the oppression of countless millions across this land, and we want to put the energy to change that, change will come. So I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for being here. This is beautiful right here.